COVID-19 vaccine begins rolling out first to our frontline workers, the general public, of course, has a lot of questions. So tonight we are asking what is in the vaccine and what about it makes it work? We went straight to a vaccine expert for the Vax Facts you need to know. Our expert here is Dr. Lisa Marisi, a professor at the Tulane University School of Medicine who specializes in next generation vaccine development. She's been in the lab during the discovery and development of vaccines and understands better than most how what's inside these vials could get us back to normal. So we were just hoping that these vaccines would provide 50% protection to people that got them, but it looks like they're almost perfect. I mean, it's really, really amazing. The Pfizer vaccine and the Moderna vaccine, now both cleared by the FDA, use similar ingredients and work the same once in your body. They use messenger RNA or mRNA, basically to carry special instructions into your cells. They are actually what we refer to as plug and play platforms, meaning they serve as a platform and you can plug any type of piece of a virus or part of a virus or part of a bacterial pathogen into that platform and then use that to immunize an individual and hopefully protect against that particular disease. In this case, the mRNA brings code for the COVID spike protein into your body, not the actual virus, and your body has an immune response. Next time you're exposed to that same COVID protein, your body should remember how to fight it off. The technology necessary to get this out to the public in nine months has been in the works for decades. Yeah, you know, I think the public really thinks that these vaccines were rushed through. And, and, and I think what the public doesn't uh, necessarily see and that the scientists appreciate is that these technologies, these platforms that these vaccines utilize, they've been in development for at least 30 years. And so they didn't just work like magic right off the bench. But still, she warns against misinformation you might see shared online. People forward me these, you know, these posts and they look really scientific. They look factual. They look like they're from a scientist. They're written really well, but they're fictitious. And, you know, if you talk to your healthcare provider or if you simply Google, there will be at least 10 scientific articles telling you why that's not, not true. Dr. Marisi says she has not yet gotten her vaccine because she's not a clinician, but says she'll get either Moderna or Pfizer's vaccine as soon as it's available to her.